Hi everyone and welcome back to another Arduino coin related video. So this video I'm going to um, clarify some things about Arduino coin itself including the price of Arduino coin as well as the profitability, uh, mining on a Raspberry Pi, um, PC mining as well as on Arduino boards, a VR mining, as well as other things about how much Duco you can mine a day as well as the Kolka system. So first, if you are in the Discord or you've been monitoring the price of Duco, it has been fluctuating quite um, substantially these past few days. Um, the highest it got was over 3 cents in USD and it recently dropped, I believe yesterday it was 0.007 dollars and now it's about a third of a cent. So it does fluctuate a lot. So the thing about that is it can be profitable if you choose to sell your Duco at the right time. And I sold mine when it was over one cent. So, you know, it, it, it was quite profitable for me. But, you know, you, you can't be really selling the Duco right at its lowest price point. And also in terms of selling the Duco, the node S exchange is what I used and right now the market is closed to sell because of low liquidity. So once that builds up, um, it will open and it normally opens for maybe two or three days with $10 um, in as liquidity. So that's an opportunity for you to sell your Duco. So that's what I wanted to clarify about the price drops. It will fluctuate a lot. So you just need to keep your eye on the price and you know, it, it's also a good opportunity for you to trade with others during these price fluctuations. So the other thing which I want to address, and I've received some comments about this, is mining with your Raspberry Pi as well as your Arduino boards. So over here you can see that the two Arduino boards, they are Arduino Uno compatible boards, are connected to the Raspberry Pi. And oh, by the way, the dual fans are just off just to lower down the noise a bit. So right now, these two Arduino boards are AVR mining while the Raspberry Pi is PC mining. And yes, you can do that at the same time, simultaneously, as the AVR boards mining are separate from um, the PC mining. So you can mine, for example, you can mine on your computer and run um, AVR miner with Arduino boards as it's, it's a separate thing. The uh, Arduino boards do their own mining while the PC mining does its own thing. So you can do those at the same time. So um, if you have a Raspberry Pi, why not take the opportunity to also PC mine at the same time? And the next thing that I want to clarify is um, how much Duco you can earn a day with different boards. And it's um, for those of you who have asked that in the comments, I can't really give an exact answer because Sometimes it's lower, sometimes it's higher. It, it depends on the price and also if there are any um, faults in the system. Sometimes the, um, the servers go down for a bit and you, know, you lose a few hours of mining. So I can't really give you an exact answer, but the best way to get a rough estimate of how much Duco you can mine in a day is by going to the web wallet and there's a little mining calculator over there. It gives you a rough estimate of what, how much Duco you earn a day depending on your hash rate as well as the boards you are mining with. And I know a lot of people have a common misconception that you know higher power devices like GPUs or CPUs with a higher hash rate will be more profitable than these low power devices like a Raspberry Pi or Arduino boards. But that is actually false as Duino coin is a coin meant for mining with Arduinos as said in the name Duino coin. So the most profitable boards to mine with are the Arduinos, specifically the Arduino Uno, the Arduino Mega, and the Arduino Nano, which all mine at around the same hash rate, and they will produce the same amount of Duco every day. Boards like the Arduino Due, even though it has a higher hash rate, it's a more powerful board, it has the ARM microprocessor, it is not going to be the most profitable as Firstly, it has a high hash rate, but it has a higher difficulty as well. So those two things are what you need to keep in mind. And ESP8266, they're the same. They have a more powerful 
um, processor, the ESP8266. However, the difficulty as well as the hash rate are also high. So it isn't as profitable as mining with plain Arduino boards. And this ties into the idea of the Kolka system. So many of you think that as you know, as you grow with your mining farm, as you start buying 20, 30, maybe even 40 and 50 Arduino boards to mine with, you are going to essentially multiply your profit with one Arduino board by 50. But that is not true because the Kolka system is quite an important um, part of the Arduino coin and mining with Arduino boards as it keeps everything fair and it makes sure that the people with huge mining farms you know won't be making way way more profit and won't dominate the system compared to those mining with you know a few Arduino boards like I am and the Kolka system essentially lowers the efficiency of each AVR board or ESP8266 that you mine with so one Arduino board will make 100% um, of Duco will mine 100% um, of the time. However, the second one is going to mine less. Um, I believe it's like 90, 99% or something like that. And you know, the third, it keeps on reducing. You can find all of this information in the white paper. And as you increase the miners you have from 100%, it keeps on going down. And probably depending on how much, you know, in your last board may have only 40% of the mining capabilities that your first board has. Therefore, in my opinion, I wouldn't even go for a huge mining farm and invest a lot of money into buying 40 or 50 Arduinos um, when, you know, you can actually buy four or five and in my opinion, that's enough. Uh, you know, I don't really want to waste power or um, overload the server by buying unnecessary Arduinos when it's not even worth the amount of money it you buy it for when you know it's it's efficient it has like a 50 percent efficiency so therefore i would only advise maybe four or five arduino boards um, i think that's fine in my opinion and um, it is quite profitable um, with this setup as well as the esp8266 as well as the arduino duo mining makes maybe 30 to 35 duco a day um, depending on um, the server as well as the price. I've noticed that when the price increased to 0 0.03 USD, um, the amount of Duco that I've mined every day, it, it, it dropped a bit. So it does depend on the price a bit. And for those of you asking, yes, the Raspberry Pi right now is being used as a host. So it's being used as the computer to connect these two Arduino boards too in order to AVR mine as these Arduino boards they don't have Wi-Fi capabilities so therefore you need to plug them into a computer that is running in order to run AVR miner for them to mine whereas you know the ESP8266 like I've said previously you can just plug it into any power supply and it will connect to the server because of its Wi-Fi capabilities and start mining and um, some of you may want to know exactly what I run in order to get these AVR miners running and especially on the Raspberry Pi using it as a host and you can find it in my previous video I did a video of how to mine Duino coin with the Raspberry Pi where I showed you all of the steps from the beginning where you needed to clone the github repository um, and from there you can actually find this information on the getting started page on the Duino coin website where it will walk you through the process of uploading the code to your Arduino board, which is very, very simple and running all of the necessary commands in order to um, start mining on your Raspberry Pi with Arduino boards. And basically the commands which you need to enter into the terminal of the Raspberry Pi, it's fairly simple. It's, you know, you CD into the Arduino coin um, directory you have on your Raspberry Pi. And then from there, you know, Python 3 and then AVR underscore miner dot PY. And, um, once you set everything up, it's, it should be mining right away. Um, as I said, this is all found in the uh, Duino Coin website, the official Duino Coin website in the Getting Started page. So um, they have a really good explanation there along with good visuals. And yeah, that's it. Um, this video is just a little video. I just wanted to update you on everything that is going on. 
Uh, I am working on the ESP8266 weather station project as um, you may have seen in my previous videos, but I will still continue to keep up with these Duino coin videos. Um, right now my Arduino Due and the ESP8266 is being used for another project, so it's not mining right now, but it will, it will soon be on and maybe I can um, buy maybe one or two Arduinos to um, just improve this mining farm a little bit. But other than that, everything's going well over here. I hope um, all of you are enjoying my videos and I, I do want to also start um, USB mining. So um, specifically ASIC mining, um, because I, I know that there are um, these little Gecko signs or Future Bit Moonlander ASIC USB miners, which are on the market. Right now they are quite expensive, but I do plan to get my hands on one of them in order to learn more about Bitcoins and other altcoins alt as well as mining with them. So hope you enjoyed this video and um, hope this clarifies a little bit about Duino coin and I'll see you guys on another video. Thanks for watching.